Hey guys, this is Kyle Skelly from Innovating the Outdoors. So I'm going to walk you through our dew claw, our dew claw collection. Um, basically, the difference between all of them, you have your original dew claw that sits you off about seven inches from the base of, or from the base of the tree. You have your pocket dew claw, which is just going to take uh, the width of your limbs, and it's going to sit across the width of your limbs. Then we have our minimalist dew claw, which is going to basically only work for uh, split limb bows which I would assume at this point in the market almost everything is a split limb it'll just sit on one of those uh, on one of the limbs on the splits there and the thing behind that is you know the guys that are super savvy about keeping their stuff uh, you know compact and, and easy to carry uh, that's what that's designed for so there was kind of people you know messaging me and emailing me about you know I uh, went a little bit of a shorter one, a little bit of a longer one, and one one right in the middle. So we kind of came up with a collection, a full collection on those series. So I'm going to kick you over onto the tree here and uh, walk you through. And the same setup applies for the original dew claw, the pocket, and the minimalist. You're going to see it with the original dew claw. That is the farthest standoff hanger and the one that would probably be the most problematic out of all of the, uh, out of the whole collection. So I'm going to bring you over on the tree here and. Uh, <coughs> We'll walk through this so what i like to do now this is a this is a left facing hanger and how to kind of define what you need left or right is facing the tree would you like it on the left hand side or would you like it on the right hand side um you know i hunt out of both hang-ons and saddles so i carry you know i have i have two of each in, uh, in my bins and then whatever I decide I'm gonna hunt with uh, that day is the one that I grab and throw in my pocket or my bag, whatever. So I'm gonna take, this is a pretty big tree to be honest with you, I don't know, it's probably upwards of 20 inches I would say in diameter. So probably not something I would climb, but just kind of wanted to show you on a bigger tree how this works. I'm gonna take uh, the throwing acorn here and I'm gonna take a nice little uh, loop of of the amp still here and I'm going to just kind of throw it around and now I got this in my uh, for right now in my right hand and then I'm gonna roll down and grab my locker with my left hand come in here close so the way you want to face these as I make them um, I make everything as straight as I can so that it goes on the tree as it should you should have the non-barbed side, which is a little bit wider here. That's going to be facing upwards. The locker side has all the uh, barbs on it. That's going to be facing towards the bottom. That's uh, extremely important. Um, it will work the other way. It's just not ideal, and it kind of makes the rope do goofy things. So I try not to do it that way. But all I'm doing is I'm going to lift the locker just slightly off the tree. I'm going to get my rope behind it, and I'm going to start to pull it tight. Now, you don't want to pull it too, too tight because you want to set up your uh, gear hooks here, which are going to be used for quiver, pack, uh, range finder, grunt call, whatever. So I'm going to move those around the tree how I need them. And I like to set one here right next to where my bow hanger is for my quiver in case I do get that second shot on a miss or uh, a, you know a botched opportunity, we'll say. So... Now what I'm gonna do is I'm really gonna pull this here. And as you start to pull it, just keep your keep adjusting your hanger so the back face of it with the teeth is is kind of biting into the tree. You don't want it to be sitting like this. It's it's it'll work, but it's not gonna be ideal. So just keep adjusting this as you pull it. You're gonna take all that tension out. And now I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna pinch it real tight with my right hand for a left hand. If I was doing it on the other side, it would be vice versa. So I'm going to come in, pinch it, I'm going to lift that locker a little bit off the tree, roll it in between the two uh, the two humps there on the bottom that's designed to kind of nest the, the rope there. Get that rope back behind, and now all I'm doing to lock it is just pulling it back out that way. So you're going to come back behind, up around, back side again, into the locking side, and cinch it. And then... On a, you know, on a smaller tree, I would just take this and I would just half hitch it on my hook on that side. But for something like this, all I'd do is just come, make a nice little loop here, come around and just stuff that acorn back through it. 
And the reason I like to take it and pull it that way is so that you're always keeping outward tension on the, uh, on the locking side. Once I'm complete there, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bow hanger, whether it be the original, uh, the pocket or the minimalist, and I'm gonna push down on the top and cam it in there. Now this was a pretty poor set uh, getting around the tree here, but uh, that's essentially it. Now you're locked in and you just hang your bow off that or, uh, or off your uh, off the limbs as well. So.